In many species of Calyptera gastropods, the males stack on top of the female. The females lay bright yellow eggs, and as the yolk is used up, they turn a light shade of gray. At first, the eggs are perfectly round. They quickly cleave. In the second stage of development, we begin to see some of the major structures form. At the third stage, we see an obvious head and yolk vesicle. We can see eye spots now, and a very early velum. As development continues, the head vesicle disappears. The shell, velum, and velar cilia is well developed, and the snails are ready to hatch. When the embryos are fully developed, the mother will lift her shell slightly, break the capsules open, and release the villagers into the plankton. Villager larvae are unique to marine gastropods and bivalves. They are named after a characteristic organ called the velum. This is a ciliated organ that they use to swim and feed. Each velum is ciliated, and each tiny cilia beat together to push the villager through the water. The cilia also serve a second purpose, to catch food particles. The food particles are collected on a second ciliated food groove on the inside of the velum. The food particles are then transferred to the mouth where they are either eaten or rejected. Most villagers are free living and feeding. Some species have villagers that live in the plankton for only a couple of days, while others stay out for months or even as long as a year. They are able to do this because they have a fully developed gut system similar to nearly every other animal. Here is a quick and dirty anatomy of a villager. They ingest food through the esophagus, to the stomach, liver, then intestine. They have a larval heart and also eye spots. The villager's stomach is really cool. It's ciliated just like the velum and spins the food in order to digest it. This one is really easy to see because earlier it ate some blue beads. Each villager will roam the plankton until it finds a suitable place for metamorphosis. During metamorphosis, the villagers lose their velum. When they settle to the intertidal rocks, they pull the velum inside their shell. In some species, it falls off and they eat it. In other species, it's reabsorbed. The villager is then unable to swim and will have to use its foot to move about as it finishes metamorphosis into an adult.